Hi guys, Todd here, or hi guys and gals, I should say, as was pointed out, um, because there are gals that are watching this as well. Isn't that right, Corpus? Um, right. On UK Vapors Forum, uh, somebody posted up about a device that was being sold by a company called xvape.de. And this device was called the Expromiser. And this is it here. The Expromiser. Now, I went and ordered one, bought it. It was 50... Uh, no, it was 49.9 euros. Uh, I just went for the standard one because I just wanted to check it out and see what it vaped like. So it arrived within four days. I think it was about four or five days it arrived and uh, I built it, vaped with it for several days, well I've been vaping with it for over a week now and whew, this is a good bit of kit. Now we'll get this out of the way. This is a K-Fun, T-Fun, Dream combination. It's taken little bits from each of those three devices and meshed them into one. So we could say it's inspired by several other devices. But it's not a clone. Not a direct clone. It's, it's like I say, as uh, a friend of mine says, it's inspired. Anyway, um, now I vaped away with it and uh, I got in touch with the guys after a few days um, basically to, to ask about the drip tip because the drip tip in the top cap uh, the hole was just a little bit in the big side uh, so it was moving about so I had a couple of conversations with them and they were telling me about the uh, prototype caps coming and how they were going to sort this out but the, you know the kit they actually sent me did come with larger o-rings that you know when you change them over it took the wobble out but they were still addressing this anyway so I said, that's great, I'll, I'll keep an eye out and when I go to do the review and blah 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 and they went, oh hang on, you're Todd, um, tell you what we'll do, we'll send you a prototype one. So they sent me a prototype top cap, in fact they sent me a whole new one, uh, which arrived yesterday. Now I've not set it up or done anything with it because I thought I would do that on the review. Quick vape. That's Mrs. Lord's custard cream I'm vaping there just now. This is a beautiful vape. It's, seriously, it's a stunning vape. Um, you know, if you like your silica builds, then this is just really impressive. Um, now, it's uh, a 23mm in diameter device. I mean, it's sitting on a ramble mod just now. Uh, which is also a 23mm device, so remember that, it's a 23mm device because uh, that probably matters to a lot of people um, but what we'll do is, well, I'm going to go down, show you the close-ups and show you all the gear but if you go along to the website, and the link will be up in the corner or the YouTube description uh, you can buy steel tanks for this, there's PMMA tanks uh, you can buy it in long mode. Um, uh, basically, it ranges from 49 euros to 59 euros or 60 euros, depending on the configuration you buy. Uh, there's spares, everything available. Um, customer service is bang on. Uh, before they even knew that I might be doing this for a review, uh, I was emailing them, they were replying straight away. That, really nice company to deal with so 10 out of 10 on that uh, but let's go in for close-ups so this is the, the standard kit uh, this is what I initially bought you know it comes in this box and this is inside it uh, what I'll do now is I'll take everything out and lay it out now in here you get uh, a lot of you all have seen this before it's the you know screwdriver 
you've got a flat head and a Phillips on the other end which is quite handy I've got a nice collection of these now um, you get some o-rings and uh, these o-rings here are really to you know if I take the stand the top cap the top cap the drip tip that's applied and I pop that in there's a slight wobble there it's not the worst you know but they are addressing it but uh, if you have your own drip tips and they're not sitting nicely then they do include this little bag of uh, drip drip tip o-rings that will probably help take this wobble out but that's the drip tip that's supplied with it we then have this bag of spares uh, two o-rings and one, two, three other spare o-rings for the seals and two screws for the terminals as well so you've got a full pack of spares there once again top marks and then we have the device itself like I said this is 23 millimeter you can see it's Exporizer Expromizer, yes, and it has a serial number in the bottom. We have a self adjusting pin there, which is great, and it's brass. You can see you've got an air hole here, this you can adjust as well. So, what we'll do is we'll take this to bits, so I'll start with the top. So this is fixed in place, can't take that off, that's fixed, and you see you've got your o-ring at the top there. We then have our tank, I can unscrew these, no problem. So you've got two tanks there. We then have, we're getting into KFUN territory here, we have a little chimney top cap. Other part of the chimney. And this should be very familiar to a lot of people. I mean that is, for all intensive purposes, that is a KFUN set up there. However, we can also do this. Unscrew the bottom cap here, and you see we have a, a brass spring in there, and that's where your this comes from. You know that's what allows you to have the adjusting, self-adjusting center pin there, which is really good. I, I like that a lot. You'll also find this, and there's an air hole here. This pulls off. I can actually turn this round and you should see that you have other air hole sizes going right round and all you do is you just pull this off locate it to whatever air hole size you want to use and that will stay fixed in place the only way to change it is by removing the bottom cap so that is pretty much everything that makes this up. Now, uh, before we go any further, what I will point out is that this is also like a collection tank. You will periodically find juice inside here. So I would, uh, you know, every few days I would have a look inside the bottom of here, see if there's any juice collected in here. But uh, the way this really works is when you're filling this, you do not have to. This is where the Tafun uh, similarities come into play. We'll get that lined up, screwed on. Put this on here.
Well, when this is actually full of juice, just say you're vaping on it and it's full of juice and you want to fill it up, you just unscrew the bottom and then you fill it up to, you know, the top of the airflow in there, you know, the central section, and then you just screw this back on. So that's how you fill up, much the same as the Typhoon, uh, or the Typhoon, or the Typhoon, or whatever it's called. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll cover that in more detail in a second. So that that is the device. Um, now, you do have options. One of the options you can get is an extender, so you can cram even more juice into this. Uh, basically this just pops in there like so. Screw on this section, uh, you've got an additional tank here. And we're just going to pop that down there. And there we go. What a size! That's huge. That is absolutely huge. Uh, it's not actually that bad looking, I must admit. You can change this out. You do also get, uh, you know, a, a steel tank section as well for here. Uh, you don't have to use the. You, know, you could have it all steel. There are very many options available to you for this. You can have it in extended mode, or if you wanted to you could just have it steel tank mode as well. Once again I'm just showing you uh, the various different setups that you can have here. You know, these are made up of all the different accessories that are available. What I want to point out is that you can use this now I'm going to refer you to my Tefun video for this. For those of you that know the spheroid, you can set this up similar to a spheroid. I don't have any uh, wicking material to show you, but so effectively you would take this section here, you would wrap your serra wool or whatever filler material you want to use, wrap it around here, pop your tank on. So this well here is going to be filled full of filler material. And then you would build your wicking coil here. You would have your tails sticking up. Once again, watch the my spheroid or my Tefun video and you'll see how this works. And you would just have a two wicks sticking up. The wicks would make contact with the filler material and you basically you would get that uh, spheroid experience if you like um, it's quite smart um, it's quite smart so that that is another option available to you I, I, like I say because this is a combination of K-Fun, T-Fun and Dream you're getting all the benefits of all the setups building this building this is the exact same as a K-Fun um, that there's nothing really to watch out for here, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I've had no issues with build, I found it incredibly easy to build and uh, I've just been using my my personal way of building it and, and it's worked a treat so uh, we'll, we'll give this a bash. Now I'm using a uh, 0.1 by 0.5 ribbon wire here um, the reason I'm using it is basically because I found found some of it. Uh, I was out in the shed and this was all I had and it actually worked out to be a really enjoyable vape. This is a 2mm uh, silica wick here rather than my usual 3mm. Once again this was what was lying out in the shed but it, it just it worked really well. So I'm just going to give this my, my usual uh, but I, don't, I don't even know what my usual wraps are for uh, this. I think it was five that I ended up giving it. So there we go, there's my... As we like to say here, my half-arsed uh, coil. 
doubled over, 2 mil silica wick there. 3 mil works really well as well, I have to admit. I mean, I like the 3 mil in this. Uh, I've just unscrewed the the terminals there. And what way am I going to put this? Yeah, that'll do fine. I'm just crossing it over. And get those wires underneath the terminals there. So there's one underneath. I'll just tighten that off. Tighten the other one. Now I did notice this block is moving here. Which means that I have something's a bit on the slack side here. That's not good. Let's just check this. Just going to make sure that this is tightened up uh, because, like I said, this block's moving about and it shouldn't be. That's better, that's that all sorted. So, it's just something to watch out for uh, if you find that uh, your positive block, which I'm pretty sure this is the positive block, is moving about. Make sure that this screw is tightened up in there. So, Here we have one badass coil, or just one bad coil, depending on how you want to describe my, it. My messy coils are, uh, <laughs> are lighting up quite the thing. Uh, they'll do me. Uh, next thing for, for I mean, this, like I say, there's there's loads of ways to build the K-Fun and things like that. This is primarily the same. I normally just slide all my wicks through there, tighten this down sticking out and then just trim them off just leaving about two mil at the top like so we're actually going to go back to a friend I haven't used this for a wee while it's my fizzy trifle from uh, trip hammer so I'm just going to wet these wicks up A little fire. Well, I'll leave the fire in just now, and then from there, all I do is I just take the the wicks and I just pop them down into the gaps on either side. Now you can see inside there, there's two holes inside the chamber. That's where the juice comes up, and that's where you want your wicks to lie on top of. Uh, don't pack it down tight. Uh, or you can strangle. You know, you can really bugger up your uh, juice supply. Uh, so poke down there, so hopefully on a good day this should fire. Yep. I'll tell you what I did notice is this is actually, it seems to be a, a bigger well than the K-Fun. So because I'm using, I mean I normally would have doubled over 3 mils, so the doubled over 2 mil, I've probably cut that a little bit too short and it's not filled up the well enough. Uh, I might put a little bit of cotton in there just to pad that out and fill it up a bit. But you seem to have a, a deeper well to get more silica in there or cotton, uh, which, you know, even better. There's one thing this thing is very good at is wicking. I've had no dry hits. So now that we're all coiled up and ready to go, I'm just going to put my little chimney on the top here and that's me ready to go now here we have our tank and just going to fill this up it could be a while and there we go hopefully you can just see the fill level there take this Drop it in and screw it on. And that, my friends, is that. Right. That's all together. Back in the ramble again. This is the new one. Uh, I'll quick view.
Wow, Jesus. I've forgotten how strong trip hammer stuff was. Um, oh, no. It's beautiful. Now, the sizes for the air holes would have been scrolling along the bottom of the screen. I've been using it at its widest setting because I just find the airflow is just bang on. Um, juice capacity would have been along the bottom as well uh, for the standard tank and the extra long tank. So I'm just arranging all the pieces here. The thing that everybody will want to know, is it any better than the K-Fun or the T-Fun? It's in the same class. It's just as good as either of them. Uh, just as good. It takes both uh, the two designs and the design of the dream, the three designs, cobbles them all together and makes a bloody good atomizer. I find I'm able to run lower resistance coils in this and it wicks a lot better. I find it wicks better than a K-Fun or a T-Fun. Personally, I find it, it wicks better. Um, it, it just, just, I think the channels are just that little bit deeper, so you're able to get that more, much more material in there, and it just keeps soaking it in, it's, and it doesn't flood. Um, so you can, for 60 euros, you know, if you went for the full kit, I mean, you're getting the extra long mode, you're getting, you know, the clear tank, the metal tank. It's just a billy bargain. It's just, really is. It's a stunning bargain. Uh, issues, or not, I don't have any issues with this device at all. I haven't found any in the week I've been using it. The only slight niggles or things to be aware of when you're unscrewing it from your atomizer, sometimes you will find that when you go to unscrew it, if you don't grip it properly at the base, you'll end up unscrewing the airflow control and you'll be left with the bit with the spring sticking out the bottom. Um, you just got to make sure you grab it tight at the bottom and, and unscrew it and you know you'll be fine. Um, adjusting the airflow. Yeah, you have to take it off the device to change the airflow. Uh, you have to unscrew the bottom section. Take it out, move it round, put it back in, and then tighten it all back up together again. That's a bit of a fuss, but to be perfectly honest, once you've found your preferred airflow draw for it, then you're not going to change it. The Adjustable self-adjusting center pin here in the base is just brilliant. It, it works so well. Um, I, I love that. Uh, I really do love that. Um, the prototype top cap they sent me, which I have on just now, this it's fine. It's absolutely bang on. I have no issues with it whatsoever. But in saying that, the original top cap with a bigger O-ring on your drip tip, I didn't have any issues with it. So, But the fact that they've identified there's this little issue uh, that they're addressing, I think that's just a sign of how good a company they are. I mean, this is designed in Germany, built in China. Um, the threading on the caps and the tanks and whatnot it's if if you're used to it, it's sometimes it's not a case of just taking I've got a bit here, uh, you know, taking two tanks and just screwing them together. Sometimes it because the threading's that fine, it, you might find it starts cross threading. The best way to do it is to offer them up, back it off, and then tighten it, and you'll find it catches a lot easier. The Tank section here, you know, juice crackers are probably going to destroy that, uh, but you can get the metal tank section as well if that's an issue. Um, I've not found it to leak on me at all. Uh, I've had no leaking from it at all. Just make sure everything's tightened down. Very impressed with this device. It's not the best looking device in the world. Let's face it, it's not the best looking device in the world. It's kind of a plain Jane, but uh, 
you know, let's face it, TFUN and the KFUN aren't exactly the best looking devices in the world unless you buy smaller tanks and things like that. Um, the way it vapes really is just stunning. I mean, let's just... I never checked the resistance in this. I just... For whatever reason, because it was the only material I had in the shed at the time, that's what I built. Uh, it's 1 ohm. Uh, it's actually 0.9. And it's just vaping so well. It really is vaping. Listen, th th there's going to be camps out there. I mean, you know how it works. You know, people screaming, the K-Fun is the best thing since sliced bread. No, the K-Fun is the best thing. No, this is, you know, the Rose is the best thing. They're all good at what they do. The Squape as well. They're all really good. Um, this is... This is just a bargain. An utter bargain. Um, heavily influenced by other devices, but aren't they all? Um, do you know the only downside really is, I mean it's not an issue for me, I've got 23mm mods, is that it's 23mm in diameter. That's the, really, that's the only downside to it. Which is, as far as downsides go, is not bad. So, you can build this the same as a spheroid. You can get cera wool or whatever filler material and you can just pack it in the top section. Uh, like I said, watch my Tefan video or my spheroid video and you'll get the gist of how to do that. Uh, you don't use the chimney section, you just leave your wicks exposed and the wicks will touch the filler material and fills it like that. Um, you do not have to, you know, if you want to fill this thing up with juice, you do not have to take it all to bits, you know, or undo screws or things like that. What you do with the K-Fan, you literally just... do that. And you fill your tank up, and you pop this back in. Which is great. Absolutely great. Love it. If you are in the market for K-Fan, Tefan, Dream, Squape or any of these things I, I would personally I would strongly suggest giving one of these a go I really would um, I, I think it's a stellar device I really do think it's stellar uh, I bought one and I got one free for review um, so I'd like to thank the guys uh, for sending this on to me uh, for the excellent customer service uh, at first you know answering all my questions and then for sending this on uh, especially with the prototype top cap I'm dithering here I'm just I'm, I'm gibbering I'm aware of the fact I'm gibbering it's um yeah Bloody great. Marvellous device. Absolutely marvellous. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, and that's it. We'll catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye. So this is the what I believe to be the standard kit. This is the exact same as what I bought. <laughs>